Hey Geeks, Tim Tippett here with MajorGeeks.com today looking at how to fix Steam missing or unavailable content manifest errors. As you can see, this error could come up in a few different ways including manifest unavailable, missing content manifest. This problem has occurred on and off for many years and we're going to start out with a few things you can do. Number one is change your download region. This should almost always fix your problem although it's a pain to do. The reason being is, let me fire up Steam here is you want to go over here as you can see to Steam settings Steam settings scroll over here to downloads you can see your download region by default I'm in New York and it is correctly auto selected the nearest location but there are a lot of choices in here now going back as far as 2015 some people have had good luck switching to Vietnam that would be one to try but really the move here is to just try another server and see if your problem goes away and you can download your games another interesting fact and this happened to somebody right after I wrote this guide he actually had to go through almost 15 servers to actually get the server he to get the thing to work while you're here there's no harm in clearing your download cache as you can see you will need to log into Steam again now I mention this because step two, if this didn't work, and I'm pretty confident this will get you where you need to be, step two is log out and log back in. So if you've already recently cleared your download cache, you can actually go back to Steam, find your username, and click on it, and just click log out and try and close it and log back in. But Again, you may have better luck with the clear cache. So once again, Steam, Settings, Clear Download Cache, Close Steam, Restart it. And of course, sadly, there is the good old last but not least, Reinstall Steam. Not a big fan. Some people are afraid they're going to lose all their games. I'll tell you what I do. If you go to Start Settings, Apps, and it's a little different in Windows 7, but you can find your way around and you'll notice that Steam isn't on my list here. The reason for it is I didn't install it. What I do with Steam is I keep an image of my hard drive, for example. I'll show you where Steam is. Here's my backup drive. I got a one terabyte backup. Games. There's my Steam folder with all my games. I haven't backed it up in a while. But the nice thing is you don't have to really reinstall Steam. What I would do if mine broke, even though my backup's a little old, at least I've got most of my games in there, I would actually come into my C drive where I keep it in its own folder called Steam, I would delete it and then I would come back over to my D drive and drag and drop my Steam folder back over here at which point you will have to log in again so while there's a lot of people saying install uninstall you don't always need to do that if you keep a backup for me personally it's so much easier to just drag and drop the folder over and, and have it so there you go but like I said don't f I, I, you know there's no rhyme or reason sometimes and I really hate to to even do it but you might have to go through 15 servers before it starts working again and again this is probably an error because you can't download a game so another stupid simple solution is sometimes as we mentioned besides logging out is if you don't need the game immediately just walk away it might pick back up we don't know what the error is with this I'm assuming there's a large backbone down somewhere between you and your server at that point or any kind of problem with the internet and eventually it'll resolve itself so the other thing I mentioned too when I'm done with this and I get the game I want I would go back and change your download server back to what it was by default here because it's definitely an intermittent problem so if you find Vietnam works you probably don't want to be downloading your games from as far away as Vietnam on a regular basis so be sure to change it back and it doesn't hurt to check that your bandwidth is limited to no limit stuff like that but hopefully this should fix your problem if you're getting these error messages and you can't download or update one of your games so there you have it thanks as always for watching and we'll see you next time